Hi, I'm Rashmi and welcome to my show. Today we're going to do a yoga practice, a gentle asana practice for beginners. So if you are a beginner and if you are new to yoga, this is going to be a practice for you. We're going to do two rounds of Surya Namaskar followed by six simple asanas that will get you through the day. So it's a simple practice, it's a short practice that you can do every day and improve your asana practice. Yeah. So we're going to start at the front of your mat. As you exhale, I want you to join your palms together. Once you join your palms together, I want you to keep your core engaged, keep your feet hip distance apart, keep your shoulders relaxed. So you can just round your shoulders to the back and breathe. So starting on the right side, inhale, raise your hands up and stretch to the back. As you exhale, lengthen your spine, slowly bending forward and bend down. As you inhale, you take your right leg back Keeping your right knee on your mat, your left knee in a 90 degree angle and your palms on the floor if you can. If you're not able to keep your palms on the floor, it's okay to keep your fingertips on the floor. From here, take your left leg back, coming into a plank position without going too high with your hips or too low with your hips, staying centered. Exhale, get your knees down, chest down and your chin down. Inhale, slowly raise your head up, raise your chest up, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Coming into Bhujangasana, staying there, breathe. Slowly lift your body up into an inverted V. Stay there and stretch. Inhale, get your right leg forward in between both your palms. Exhale, get your left leg forward together with your right. Stay down and stretch. Inhale, slowly raise your hands up, stretch to the back, pushing your hips forward. Exhale, join your palms together. So that was half a round of Surya Namaskar. If you felt that this round was too fast, I would tell you to watch the tutorial on Surya Namaskar. The video link will pop up just now. So watch the link on how to do Surya Namaskar and then come back to this. We'll continue on the left side. As you exhale, join your palms together. Inhale, raise your hands up, stretch to the back. Exhale, slowly lengthen your spine, bend forward and bend down. Inhale, take your left leg back, keeping your left knee on the floor. Hold your breath, take your right leg back, coming to a plank position, exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down, inhale, slowly raise your head up, raise your chest up, exhale, lift your body up into an inverted V and stretch, inhale, left leg forward in between both your palms, exhale, right leg forward together with your left, inhale, raise your hands up, stretch to the back, pushing your hips forward. Exhale, join your palms together. That was one round of Surya Namaskar on your right and on your left. We'll do one more round just to warm up your body a little bit more. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, raise your hands up, stretch to the back. Exhale, lengthen your spine, bend forward and bend down. Inhale, take your right leg back, keeping your right knee on the floor. And take your left leg back, coming into a plank position. Now we're going to stay here in plank and we're going to hold for 10 counts. Hold. 10, 9, breathe, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down, inhale, slowly raise your head up, raise your chest up, exhale, lift your body up into an inverted V and stretch, inhale, right leg forward in between both your palms, Exhale, left leg forward together with your right. Inhale, slowly raise your hands up, stretch to the back, pushing your hips forward. Exhale, join your palms together. We'll continue, last round on the left side. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, raise your hands up, stretch to the back. Exhale, lengthen your spine, bend forward and bend down. Inhale, take your left leg back with your left knee on the floor and take your right leg back, coming into a plank position. Once again, stay here, hold and breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, slowly raise your head up, raise your chest up. Exhale, lift your body up, enter inverted V and stretch. Inhale, left leg forward in between both your palms. Exhale, right leg forward together with your left. 
Inhale, slowly raise your hands up, stretch to the back. Exhale, join your palms together. From here, I just want you to come to the front of your mat. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Stay there and just close your eyes and breathe. Let's take a long deep breath in and slowly exhale. Okay, you can slowly open your eyes. We're first going to get into Vrikshasana or the tree pose. Vrikshasana is a balancing pose that will help improve your focus and your concentration and also your balance. So you're going to start with your right leg. So lift your right leg up, place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Find your balance first, focus on a point straight in front of you and join your palms together. Now once you find your balance, once you find your focus, you slowly raise your hands up, keep your arms close to your ears and stay there and breathe. If you're not able to stay here and balance, you can stick your back to a wall and just stay there so that you find your balance and you're able to do the pose. We're going to stay here and hold it, keep focusing on a point in front of you and breathe. One, two, Three, four, five. Slowly drop your hands down and relax. We'll continue on the left side. So you raise your left leg up, place your foot on the inside of your right thigh. Now find your balance, find your focus, look straight in front of you, palms in front of your chest. Once you find your balance, as you inhale, slowly raise your hands up. As I count, keep inhaling and exhaling. Slowly inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Slowly get your hands down and relax. Moving on to our next asana, we're going to do Trikonasana, the triangle pose. Trikonasana is a great stretch for your legs and your sides. So you're going to step onto the left side of your mat. And you're going to stretch your right leg out about three and a half feet apart. From here, you're going to place your right heel at the center of your left foot and stretch both your hands out to the sides. Keeping your palms in line with your shoulders, keeping your body facing forward as you exhale slowly, drop down towards your right side and look up at the tips of your left hand. Now when you do this, you should feel the stretch on the left side of your waist and also you should feel a good stretch on your right inner thigh. We're going to again stay here and hold it for five counts and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly as you inhale, come back up and relax. So you want to ensure that your knees remain straight throughout. And if you're not able to hold your ankle, you can hold it a little bit higher. We'll switch to the other side. So simply turning your left foot to point towards the left side, your right foot pointing straight ahead. Stretch both your hands straight in front of you. And as you exhale, slowly drop down towards your left, looking up at the tips of your right hand, ensuring that your head and your leg are in alignment with each other. Stay here and hold for five counts and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come back up and relax. From here, we're going to sit down on your mat now. So slowly come down on your mat and stretch your legs forward. Point and flex your toes and relax your legs. Now bend your knees and place your feet together. We're going to do the butterfly pose. So first I want you to just move your knees up and down. Now when you're just starting out, if you're a beginner to yoga, it's very difficult for you to uh, feel flexibility in this position, especially because sometimes your inner thighs seem to be very tight. So this will help you release the tension in your legs and you'll hopefully be able to bend all the way forward. Now, to get into Baddha Konasan or the butterfly pose, you keep your feet together as close to you as possible. You keep your back straight and as you exhale, you slowly try and bend forward and you try and go all the way down if you can. 
If you're not able to go all the way forward, stay at whatever position you can. If this is your maximum, stay here and hold it. Remember not to slouch. You want to push your chest out and keep pushing yourself forward so that you feel a good stretch on your inner thighs. So we're going to stay at whatever position you can and hold for five counts. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come back up and relax. From here, stretch both your legs out. We're going to do the forward bending pose, which is called Pashtimodhanasan, which will help you to stretch your hamstrings out and also lengthen your spine. So keeping your legs straight as you inhale, slowly raise your hands up. And as you exhale, try and grab hold of your big toes and bend forward and stretch. Now, if you're not able to get your chin close to your knees, or if you're not able to hold your toes, hold whichever part of your leg you can. So if you're able to hold your ankles, stay here and keep pulling yourself forward. Keep your feet flexed and keep your knees straight. Remember to not bend your knees. Stay and keep stretching. Eventually your aim is to try to hold your toes and try to bend forward and stretch. We'll stay here and we'll hold for five counts. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come back up. We'll do the reverse stretch of Paschimottanasana, which is called Purvottasana. So slowly as you inhale, raise your hands up. Place your palms on the floor with your fingers pointing in towards you. You lift your hips up and drop your head to the back. We're going to stay here and hold this. Remember to keep your knees straight. If you're not able to hold this position with your knees straight and with your hips up, you can bend your knees and stay in this pose, eventually trying to straighten your legs out. Stay and hold. One. Breathe. Two, three, four, five. Slowly come back down. We're going to do one last pose, which is called the Setu Bandhasan or the bridge pose. So for that, you can bend your knees and lie down on your mat. Once you do this, you'll feel your entire spine on your mat. Setu Bandhasan is great to strengthen your uh, spine and also to strengthen your core, your thighs and your hamstrings. So what we're going to do is you're just going to lift your hips up and we're going to stay here and hold. This is a very easy variation of Setu Bandhasan. Your palms are going to be on the floor. If you feel like you have more flexibility or ability to stretch a little more, you can get your feet a little closer to your body. Try and lift your hips up and grab hold of your ankles. Stay here and hold for five counts. Breathe. Five. Four, three, two, one. Slowly come back down and relax. Now, once you finish this basic simple asana practice, it's very nice and important to just close your eyes and relax. So, we're going to stretch your legs out, keep your palms open to the ceiling, and you can close your eyes and relax. I'm going to end up relaxing with you, so I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.